Morning, Bert. Good morning, Ernie. So, what's the scripture for today, Bert? The scripture for today is Jeremiah 20, 7 through 13, also known as Jeremiah denounces his persecutors. What were they persecuting Jeremiah for? Well, Jeremiah prophesied that if they continued their current behavior, they would fall, and they weren't too keen on that. So, it was a warning. Yes, Ernie, you could say that. So, if they weren't too keen on hearing that, what did they do? Well, the scripture says that Jeremiah was struck and stuck in the stocks, all for warning them about needing to change their ways. Stinks to be struck and stuck in the stocks. <laughs> yeah, Ernie. That Jeremiah was just trying to help the people by warning them that their behavior was putting them in danger. So, what did Jeremiah do then? He continued to tell the people in more stern terms what was going to happen. Pretty persistent? Plainly, pretty persistent. Hey, Bert, that reminds me about the other day when I was playing catch outside by myself. Oh, yeah, Ernie? How does this remind you of that? Well, since I had no one to play with because of the quarantine, I was bouncing the ball off the wall of our building and catching it that way. While I was doing that, the lady downstairs told me not to do that because I might hit her window. Well, I wasn't even near her window, so I thought I was okay. Later, she warned me again, but in a more stern tone of voice. I was pretty sure that I knew what I was doing until a pigeon flew right in front of my throw and caused me to throw a little off in order not to hit the bird. This resulted in me actually breaking her window. Yeah, I remember this. So now you must get her groceries for a week in order to pay for that pain. Pay for the pain? The window pain. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bert, I thought I knew what I was doing, despite all the warnings. But I did not plan for unforeseen circumstances. Well, Ernie, what did you learn from this? Well, Bert, it pains me to admit it, but I learned that sometimes one's best laid plans can go afoul. <laughs>